Hola. All right, so we are now inside our Uber. Second time taking an Uber here. No problems whatsoever. It costs probably like a dollar and something cents. Um, yeah, so looking forward to going to the supermarket because this is the very first time I'm going to be going to a supermarket in the Dominican Republic. I'm really excited to see what the prices are. And again, like I said in the previous video, the cars tend to be smaller. So if it's going to be like a group of you where you're carrying suitcases or anything like that, make sure that you point that out. But uh, yeah, super excited to go shopping. And of course, I'm going to be saving some money because I can actually cook my own meals now and get some important stuff in the supermarket. I'm going to be shopping for snacks, juices, water, um, sanitary stuff, and um, yeah. All right, so we are now in the 365 Supermercado. I'm super excited to be here because being here is gonna kind of teach me about some of the prices here. Now, I've been previously shopping at the bodegas. Those are little small corner stores or back home, we call them the Pecana shop. And um, I, what I love about them, they're very convenient. You get the chance to, you know, just hop across the road and get something to eat. However, what I don't like, you're not able to see the prices. So there's no prices on anything most of the times and you keep having to ask how much, how much, how much, which is kind of annoying for me. So being in a supermarket, I'm gonna be able to see a more formal price range and that's gonna be what I'll be using throughout my trip to know what's the average cost of water or juice or toilet paper, whatever the situation is. Now, as soon as I hop into the supermarket here, I was kind of surprised, well, well not really surprised because in Colombia, I did see big limons. So this is a very big lime. It's really huge and the price here is 69 pesos. We also see some aguacate or avocado or pear, that's 49 pesos. The sizes are pretty average. I've seen bigger, but they're pretty average size pears. Now to give you guys a quick rundown of the prices here in US dollars, 59 pesos right now is one US dollar. So that lime just now is a little bit over one dollar. Back in Colombia, you could get that size lime less than a dollar so that's the price reference now back home in jamaica we don't have limes that size and one i think 12 limes right now is going to cost somewhere around is it 600 dollars? i don't know but it's super expensive so usually i don't shop with any list or anything like that i normally shop in sections and the first thing i want to get is going to be some cleaning supplies i need to do some laundry i need to be able to clean the house i need to be able to wash dishes so we're going to head to the laundry aisle and see what the prices of things are and also what brands they have available here in the dr all right the first grab is bleach i don't care about the brand of bleach bleach to me is basically bleach regardless of the brand so this is a very small one here and price is kind of confusing it says 49 but this is the bigger one so i don't know if it's misplaced up here it says 25 um, pesos so i think it's going to be around 25 pesos which is i don't know if it's a good price or a bad price but whatever it's not that expensive um, the next thing that i need i need to have some fabric softener suavitel is a brand back home in jamaica we do have suavitel um, so you can see for this size, like 139 pesos. And I'm just gonna pick a nice scent. Yeah, this should do for me. All right, so usually back home, we have brands like Breeze and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I don't know any of these brands. I don't know how well they will work, but if, wow, this is not bad. So it's a uh, hundred pesos for this and it says oferta, so it's an offer. And yeah, you're gonna get three of these. 200 grams per one. I don't know this brand, so I'm not so certain I would want to go with that one. But let's, oh, there's Fab. Everybody, well, let me not say everybody, but when I was a kid, Fab was something that I heard a lot. It was like a, for example, you know how we call every cooler igloo? when really and truly it's not the igloo brand, we just call it igloo because it's the most popular. Back home in Jamaica, powdered soap, we would call it Fab. I haven't seen the brand Fab anymore back home. However, there's brands like Breeze and so on. In Colombia, I did see Fab. It's a brand that I know and trust. And this is 850 grams for 200 pesos. So I will go with Fab because I know the brand. That's maybe scented. I don't think I want baby scent. I want maybe something with bleach, I don't know. This one, yeah, it does have that. So we're gonna go with this one. 
Now, toilet paper is a big thing. I know a lot of people just cannot use any toilet paper whatsoever. So of course here, there's gonna be a lot of off brands, brands that you've never heard about and you might not trust. But um, hmm. I do see Scott. Scott is popular in Jamaica, popular in the US, and also Domino's, I do see that. So those are brands that I also know and trust. And yeah, uh, which one do I go with? Hmm. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. This is a four roll pack for 159 pesos. Now, I'm kind of surprised that in the cleaning area, I haven't seen any Fabuloso. That is a popular brand in South America and the Caribbean, but I don't, I don't see it yet. Hmm. Toothpaste. There's different prices. This one is 2.89, but I guess when you go for the different ones, it goes higher. No, let me go for this one. Let's see. Total 12. Yeah, it's probably 2.79 or 4 or 5, whichever. Listerine. Mm, Listerine or Colgate, which one do I, you know what, we all know about Listerine as well. Yo, this Listerine is the worst one, like it just tastes so horrible. I'll try the purple one. I do want an alcohol, this is 129, it's a very small one. I try to pick up more travel size things because I'm not going to be moving city to city with the same um, heavy stuff and I need a hair conditioner. So far, I'm seeing a lot of the international brands, probably variations that I've never really seen, either home or while I'm in the US, but nonetheless, I'm getting stuff. Look what we obviously found now. <laughs> I told you, Fabuloso, you find them in almost every Caribbean or South American store. All right, so Fabuloso to, you know, sweet up the place a little bit. So this is like 79. I don't want to buy them too big because again, I'll be moving from place to place. So, mm, no, no problem. Yo, know, funniest thing, when I forget that I'm in a Spanish-speaking country, but then I try to speak English sounding like a Spanish person, it's, it's so stupid. They say size doesn't matter, but it does, it does, it does. The ladies will tell you. All right, mm, screw it, let's, let's go with this one. I'm sure I'll be able to use it. So that's like, oh wow, wait, 99, wait. Why is this one Alterna? Oh, it's a different formula. This one is a one for 155. This is actually 99, so it's not bad. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Washing plates, Axion is just my thing. But of course, there's always a knockoff brand, but this one is cheap. It's like 50. I don't really care much, so I'll take this one, 50. But if you want the top brand, Axion is like 245. Yeah, so I'll grab this. And dishwashing soap. Mm, I think we already have some, so I'm good with that. No, me, I love when a house smells good, so I do want some air fresheners. They have these, but I want something that is gonna be constant, like constantly just in the house. So I'm gonna see if I can find like a diffuser or anything like that. Okay, this aisle is a pet aisle. It's funny, um, in Colombia, a lot of people were very pet-centric. So far, I don't really see a lot of people with dogs. I haven't even seen a pet dog, so that's a lie. I did see one, but not as much as in Colombia. But uh, this is a pet aisle. Still gonna search for the air fresheners where I can. Hmm. I really hope that they do have something that I want. Guys, why is this soap like this? This is soap, it's just long. I don't get that. It is oats, they come in a shorter size. What? Anyway, the price is uh, 87 and this one is 179. It's kind of interesting. Is it just me? I think I'm being super naive here, but is it just me? I literally thought, when I saw Chubby, I was just like, Chubby, what Chubby I do ya? But I don't know, I don't know if it's a, I mean, we are in the Caribbean, so yeah, but it's very surprising to actually see Chubby. I'm definitely gonna grab a few of these. Something about Chubby does brings back nostalgia. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the blue one. Is there the pink one? The blue one's good. The pink one's pretty good too. I don't see the blue, well, let me just grab two of the blues and one of this. Is this the pink one or the red one? This is red strawberry. 
looks good to me. Yo, quickly, I saw how small this supermarket is. Not that I'm complaining, I don't mind, but there definitely are bigger supermarkets and this one is just the closest one. But I'm not gonna show you guys every single thing that I'm gonna pick up. I'm just gonna show you the most important ones and we are at chicken. So let's take a look at this chicken here. It is 300 pesos. Is that 300 pesos? Precio total, or is this a size? Is this the, the, this, it keeps saying 79, 79, 79. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused here, but I must say think that this is a total. 308, so it's 308 pesos. So 308 pesos for a three pound bird, 308 pesos is somewhere around $5 or so. Uh, I'm not really big on shopping, but back in Jamaica to get a chicken is going to cost you like a thousand two hundred or a decent sized chicken is like a thousand five hundred. So I'll do the conversion and we can see how cheap it is in comparison to price and weight or whatever the case is, but that doesn't seem so bad. All right, so today I'm not gonna be buying any chicken. I'm just gonna pick up stuff that I can make quickly, like for breakfast and so on, and then probably two days from now or so, I'll come back and get some stuff that I know I'm gonna prepare, and I might show you guys some of that. But um, coming up here, I see something very familiar. That is salt fish. I'm not even gonna get excited about it because I'm expecting this. We are in a Caribbean country, and um, hmm. Wow, I think this is where I get excited because the cost of this salt fish, you are not going to get this price back home. No freaking way. This salt fish is, it's a thick slab. It's quite heavy. I think, I don't see the per pound. I don't see the, 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 the weight of it, but the total is 244 pesos. That is, really cheap. A price like this back home in Jamaica, um, you're looking at about, boy, maybe almost 10 US dollars. This is freaking cheap. Yo, it kind of makes me wonder, why is it that ours back home is so expensive? Like, it's really expensive to get sawfish. But anyway, I'm going to be making ackee on sawfish because I did, I, did, I did throw some ackee in my suitcase. I froze that bastard, threw it in my suitcase. I'm gonna be making that for sure. And then this down here, Spanish is not so good with this one, but it does look like red herring. Mm, and this red herring is a little bit more expensive to the weight. It's uh, 413 pesos. Of course, every one has a different weight price. Mm. So behind me here, I see Platano Maduro, um, one of our favorite things, plantain, but I do, I do think I want to buy this from one of the roadside vendors. So like in most uh, Caribbean countries, you're going to have people that are going to be pushing around things like carts and stuff and selling little market roadside type of food. So I'll buy it from them there. And that, those don't look really um, nice or appetizing to me. All right, so the next thing that I find important to understand with pricing, of course, is bread. What is the cost of bread? So let's go look at the cost of bread here. And I do need some bread, actually. So let's see. All right, usually bread a yard is it's pricey. I think bread um, at home is like 500 and something dollars for bread. That's Jamaican dollars. And bread here is, what is this, 155. This is, it's almost like a bimbo brand, but it's, is it bimbo? Looks similar. It's $155. Um, does it go up? Does it go less? Um, hmm, this is hot dog roll, regular bread. $125, it goes cheaper. Um, the other brands, $169, so it goes up. So, yeah. Wow, light went away. Being in the Caribbean, you remember I said in the previous video about having a power bank? This is one of the reasons why, or even having surge protectors for your devices, this is the reason why. Now, yeah, reason why is redundancy. I get it. But anyway, um, let's take a look at this now. The thing is, a lot of people would tell you when you go to a different country, they would say, oh, you cannot compare do things dollar for dollar. And I get that. However, how I look at it is, 
Let's say, for example, you have a hundred US dollars and that is your grocery bill, right? If you look at things dollar for dollar and you realize that, okay, in the US or in Trinidad or in Jamaica, you're spending $80 on your groceries, right? And then here you're spending, let's say, $50 you're still gonna look at it dollar for dollar. Which one do you prefer spending it? $50 or $80? So that's why I kind of look at the prices of things to see how much would I be spending back home and how much am I spending here? So I understand the economies are definitely different and you, can ex you cannot expect every country to charge the same thing. So it's not like a, a competition to see which one is better or whatever. It's just really about how much money you're willing to spend or how much you can possibly save country to country doing what I am doing. Now the next thing that we can look at is going to be eggs. Back in the US there was this whole debacle about um, eggs or the prices or whatever. Now being here I know um, eggs seem to be a thing as well that they like. So let's see, a dozen eggs you can get them for 109 pesos. That is not bad, 109 pesos, that is less than two dollars. Ah, not bad. Trying to just find a half dozen because honestly, I, I don't really like eggs, but um, I think it's the easiest way to eat a chicken or to get protein, so I'm gonna just go with a dozen. Orange juice. So, price of orange juice this size here is going to be 119. Hmm, I guess that's not bad. Now, the last two things I want to look at is going to be milk and uh, vegetables. So we'll take a look at milk. Again, back home, milk is, milk is pretty expensive back home. And I don't think us as a country, Jamaicans, are not necessarily big milk drinkers to be fair. So yeah, I love milk, however. So we're gonna take a quick look at milk. So I was looking for milk in the, the freezer aisle and I didn't see it and ask someone just now and she directed me to this aisle here. So I guess I don't really drink a lot of milk where they would want to have it in the fridge because probably would spoil, I guess. And yeah, so it's gonna be box milk. So a quick range check here. It's like 95 is the most expensive I'm seeing so far. 99, yeah, that's, that's basically the price for um, the milk here, so just for me to pick out a brand that I think I might like. Yo, there are so many different milk options, but definitely leche entera, because that means, I think that means whole milk. Do not pick up the sin lactosa. It's not gonna be like milk, milk. Trust me on this, so definitely getting about two of these. And what can we look on over here? Uh, condensed milk is usually a bit pricey, so that should be leche condensada. Uh, you can get condensed milk in various sizes. This is 75 pesos. This is 135, 139. Um, oh, Nestle. What? Oh, these are small ones. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Now yeah, let's go with this one. So me can make my tea. You know what I'm gonna say? And then. Um, can't get milk without cereal. I did say I love cereal, or did I? Um, Kellogg's, this is 317. I love this one, it's one of them that I like. Uh, for those who might have kids and might decide to come here for a little vacation. Again, it's a small store, but this is your lineup for this very small store. Um, not a lot, but there's, there's quite a bit. I know in the US, like, they're like a whole aisle is for cereal. There's so many different types of cereal. Wow, lettuce, 35 pesos. And look, wow, they're nice and pretty. Just picked up some strawberries from the guy just now and he said that this is uno nueve. So I'm guessing it, it has to be like 190 something um, pesos. There's no way it could be 19. All right, I think that should be enough stuff for you to 
have an idea of what the cost of things should be like here. I'm gonna continue shopping and picking up some other stuff. And then at the end of it, I will show you guys the bill. I'll show you guys what's in the cart. And then you can look at the overall price and dictate, you know, is it cheaper living here? Is it what you're accustomed to? Or, you know, drop in the comments and guys, let me know um, what you think. Anyway, let me get to my real shopping and collect everything else that I need. I don't know how much it's gonna cost because I wasn't really paying much attention to the prices, to be fair. Um, but I got some Cheetos. Um, some of these things you already saw. Cheese. The guy at the cheese stand was very helpful um, to let me get the right thing. Mac and cheese. I got yogurt. I changed the milk to a different brand. Was, was this brand cheaper? Uh, I think this is 65. And I had, which one before? I had this one. Oh, it is cheaper. This one is 75. So I got this brand here. Around the corner it says 65. It says something like, you know, sports for Dominican kids or whatever. So I supported that. Um, I got uh, this thing here. I got um, some serviettes. I got plates, um, ketchup. What else? There's quite a few things. Uh, chamomile tea to help me to sleep at night. And um, some juice there. I got a bunch of stuff. So let's see. Oh, even Gatorade as well. I got some cup noodles. I got some um, peanut butter. So yeah, let's guess how much this is gonna cost. Oh, even a light bulb and some mayonnaise. Ah, let's guess, let's guess, let's guess how much is this gonna cost. Definitely have to show you guys the bill when I get home. I'm not waiting on my Uber. I thought it was gonna be somewhere around maybe the $200 mark, but I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I'm, I'm kind of happy too. Just know, your yeah, boy, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good about my shopping today. Um, one of the main things is what I spent, I probably spent like almost that amount just getting junk food. Like I've been going out, going to these little restaurants on the roadside, getting food, and it just never felt, it just never felt like I was eating um, properly enough or having things that I wanted, like, you know, snacks and vegetables and fruit, stuff like that. So, my total here came up to 7065 I'm trying to see if I see the ITBS um, thing on it. I'm not seeing ITBS. What is a, I guess it's a pretty long receipt. However, I'm trying to look for the, the fish. I'm looking for the um, strawberries. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing, I am not seeing a big, um, a big price for anything on this. Um, strawberries like that, probably is gonna be like $5, so I'll be looking for like three, 300 pesos. I, I, I'm not seeing that on here. So definitely the strawberries were cheap, but I'll, I'll go to the market and see what the price of strawberries are. So that's kind of good. Nor am I seeing the ITBS. I'll, I'll check into that to see if that tax is, is relevant. So there you have it. That's basically what you're looking at for the cost of living. I didn't buy any chicken. Oh my God, I forgot to buy bacon, bro. I didn't buy, oh shoot. Yeah, I never bought any meats because the freezer is small and you guys saw like I had to be bringing so many different things in. The Uber also is pequeño. The Uber is very, very small, so I wouldn't advise doing a very, very large shopping amount, especially if it's only you, because yeah, it just makes things a little bit more difficult. I don't want to have groceries on the side of the street and going back and forth, back and forth, so yeah. Um, 
But most of the that I got there are things that I will have for a while. For example, like the laundry detergent and things like that. And everything else will just be replenishing. So probably tomorrow or so I'll go back to the supermarket, get some meat, stuff like that, whenever I do need them. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I hope it's gonna be a helpful video for you if you're thinking about coming out here or you're just interested to see what other countries are doing. What's the cost of their living? How do they survive? You know, what are the types of foods that they have in their supermarkets? But I'll catch you guys on the next video. Remember she things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link. I'm going to unpack all this right now.